Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on exothermic reactions. An exothermic chemical reaction is one that releases energy in the form of heat or light. A classic example of this is anything that burns or explodes. For example, common hydrocarbons like the butane in cigarette lighters or gasoline. These types of flammable exothermic reactions must be handled carefully. A non-burning example of an exothermic reaction is the product Drano. Drano is actually a mixture of chemicals that, when added to water, clears stubborn clogs in plumbing. One of the key ingredients in Drano is sodium hydroxide. It dissolves things that typically clog pipes, like fat and hair. But when mixed with water and other ingredients, it also produces heat. Watch the following experiment that investigates Drano as a possible exothermic reaction. In this experiment, we're going to do a very short uh, investigation of whether or not Drano produces an exothermic reaction when mixed with water. So in order to do that, we're just going to add uh, about 100 milliliters of, of water to a beaker. And then we're going to place a temperature probe into the beaker to get our starting temperature. And we'll see that our, our starting temperature is around uh, 20 degrees or so. So we'll just let that settle for a second. Looks like we've got about 20.3 degrees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some Drano. Now in order the, so that we can see the exact, uh, the, the details of the reaction, we're just going to zoom right in on the beaker, uh, nice and close, and then I'm going to add uh, some, some Drano. And what you want to do is watch closely to see what's happening. There we go. And one of the things you'll notice is that a lot of bubbles are are being given off. Uh, there is something interesting that happens when you when you add Drano to water. Uh, what you get is uh, the formation of sodium hydroxide, and in with the Drano uh, crystals is also little pieces of aluminum. You might see them floating around. When the sodium hydroxide reacts with aluminum, it produces lots of bubbles and it's supposed to produce uh, lots of heat. And that is what powers through the clogs in your, your pipes, um, which is what uh, Drano is supposed to do. So we can see that's quite a violent reaction. I'll just stir it around a tiny bit. Uh, but now let's zoom out and check our temperature. Now remember we started at about 20 degrees and we can see that the, temp the temperature has risen quite significantly uh, to 32. Let's just stir a little bit and we can see that that temperature continues to continues to rise. Let's stir a little bit more vigorously to get all of our Drano, our Drano mixed. So obviously we have a significant temperature rise of about 13 or 14 degrees. So it's it's very apparent that uh, Drano is in, mixed with water indeed produces an, an exothermic reaction.